Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, and this time, monothelitism. In the early 600s, a Christian patriarch by the name of Sergius I of Constantinople proposed that Jesus, despite having two natures, had only a single energy, which he referred to as theandric. We call this monoenergism, and it caused all sorts of back-and-forth arguing within the church about whether the human energy of Jesus' human nature was mixed into the divine energy of his divine nature. Last time, when we discussed Apollinarism, something like this came up, except it was a question of whether Jesus had two minds instead of two energies. The conclusion was that Jesus needed a fully human mind in order to redeem the minds of other human beings, and the same would be true of human energy, whatever that refers to, so the two energies of Jesus can't be mixed into one. However, Sergius decided to keep going, proposing another theory which he called ecthesis, in which Jesus had two natures but only one will. He managed to get a lot of people on his side with that theory, but a short time later the Pope flatly condemned the doctrine of a single will, which we now call monothelitism. Once again, as with the energy and mind theories, it wouldn't be possible for Jesus to redeem the wills of human beings unless he had a human will himself. So in 680 to 681 AD, at the Third Council of Constantinople, monothelitism was declared a heresy. There's also evidence in the Bible that Jesus had two wills. Remember that one of the natures of Jesus was the second person of the Trinity, God the Son, and one absolute quality of God is his perfection because each person of God is absolutely perfect, and each possesses all true knowledge, they are in perfect agreement with each other and never argue. So, although the Father and the Son had two wills in reality, those two wills always will for the same thing to happen. Saying, Father, if thou wilt, remove this chalice from me. But yet, not my will, but thine be done. Luke. 22, 42. So why then would Jesus make a distinction between the will of the Father and his own will as he does here? Surely the will of the Son can't disagree with the will of the Father, can it? Of course not. This is a reference to the human will of Jesus. It's natural for any human will to want to avoid suffering and death. But that wasn't the will of God in this case, and Jesus does concede to that greater will after having drawn the distinction between his human will and the will of the Father. So we know that Jesus did have two wills, human and divine, which corresponded to his two natures, and that monothelitism is false. Next time, who were the Waldensians? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.